everyone. It's Friday and this is Outnumbered. Yeah. I'm Kaylee McEnany here with my co-host Harris Faulkner. Also joining us Fox Business anchor and co-host of The Bottom Line on Fox Business, Dagan McDowell. Fox weather meteorologist Amy Fries and Fox News contributor and host of the David Webb show on Sirius XM Patriot, the great David Webb. Well, we begin with new bombshell allegations surrounding President Biden and his possible involvement in a Ukrainian bribery scheme. That's right, President Joe Biden this time, not Hunter. Senator Chuck Grassley just released an unclassified FBI document. The memo's claims are still unverified, but the details come from an FBI informant who is very trusted, and it's his conversation with a top Ukrainian energy executive. The informant outlines how then Vice President Biden and Hunter Biden allegedly coerced the executive into paying them. In exchange, they were going to get help getting a rival prosecutor fired. According to the memo, the CEO of the energy firm Burisma hired Hunter Biden to protect us through his dad from all kinds of problems. But it appears the price for the Biden services, well, it was pretty steep. Quote, it costs $5 million to pay one Biden and $5 million to another Biden. Who was the other Biden? And according to the memo, the Burisma CEO wasn't initially trying to pay up. It goes on to say Zolachevsky stated that he didn't want to pay the Bidens and he was, quote, pushed to pay them. And the confidential source even inquired into the Biden's future dealings with Burisma. Remember, Hunter Biden sat on the board of directors. The memo reads, quote, the informant inquired whether Hunter Biden or Joe Biden told Zolachevsky he should retain Hunter Biden. Listen to this. Zolachevsky replied, they both did. Interesting. Harris, I want to flash back to a moment, uh, I believe it was 2018, when the former vice president, now current president, Joe Biden, talked about Victor Shokin, the prosecutor who got fired. Let's watch. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time. It's almost like he was saying, well, then, blank, 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 they did what I told them to. Almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I don't understand how we really missed what was coming up, but we needed the, the documents, we needed the evidence to kind of tie everything together. But there were hints along the way that, that there were some levers that were being pulled. We just didn't see it. And, and I think, you know, with this particular president, he's been around for so long in politics that he knows how to pull everything off as a joke. I mean, everything becomes, you know, oh. and now, of course, you mix that in with, I wasn't there, I don't remember, it couldn't have been me, I, you know, I don't remember anything my son had said, it didn't happen that way, I was not involved, and he's good at that, too. Yeah. So, uh, this, but this document is indisputable, and when you look at it, when it came out yesterday, I was surprised at how little of it was redacted. I mean, you really got to see a lot of information there. You, you did, and the piece of information I was most interested in, David, we have been hit with a chorus ad nauseum. Joe Biden never talked to Hunter about his yeah. business dealings. Oh, wait, let's take a look at this from the FD 1023. These are quotes about Joe Biden, not Hunter, the chief financial officer of Burisma. They hired Hunter Biden to protect us through his dad. Head of Burisma said something to the effect of, don't worry, Hunter will take care of all of us through his dad. And then finally, on who wanted Burisma to hire Hunter, they both did. So this is on you, Joe, in this FD 1023. Well, a point of common sense here. If you're hiring Hunter Biden, is it to get to James Biden? <laughs> because James Biden has no power to affect policy, has no power to stand there and brag at the Council on Foreign Relations. Well, I'm six hours, you better fire him. It's always been about Joe Biden, and the thing is, the FBI and DOJ that didn't want to investigate the path that would lead to the most likely suspect, the person who had the ability to affect policy, to make decisions, had to be Joe Biden. The other, there's no other big guy, there's no, no other person in the Biden family who has access to the levers of government. And the FBI objecting, by the way, to the GOP releasing uh, the various points of information. This is the same group that lied about the source documents, lied on FISA warrants, different persons within the FBI and DOJ, and also covered up information that was already verified. 
So there, there is nothing here that leads anywhere but to Joe Biden. You have to follow the investigative path, let the process play out, because it's not going to lead to James or Halley or, you know, Bo's widow, because none of them have the levers of government. Yes. I mean, who are you going to believe? Uh, well, the people or your lying eyes, I don't know. So the White House says these claims have been debunked for years and that they themselves have cautioned uh, to take these with a grain of salt, they meaning those pushing the claims. That's their response. However, this FBI informant, he's trusted, highly credible. He's been with FBI for over a decade. He's been paid six figures. And Dagan, so if I'm the White House, here's what I want. This is the evidence. We're going to pop this up. This is the evidence. I want to know where it's at. I want to know now. 17 alleged recordings of conversations with the Bidens. Two allegedly have Joe Biden's voice on them. Where are the recordings? Many text messages, we're told. Uh, two documents understood to be financial records. There's a wit witness. We have this list. We'll pop it up. A Burisma head, a Zayachevsky. I want to know where that person is. And a supporting witness who was on all the phone calls named Osta Pinko. Want to know where the supporting witness is. And let's pop that up for our viewers if we have it. Dagan. Uh, Congress will be on top of this. And, and there's much discussion about, and even some people calling, I think Moran Devine wrote a piece about it, calling for a special counsel. Yes, she did. That is not what you want to happen for a number of reasons. A special counsel would be appointed by and report to Attorney General Merrick Garland, the overlord of the department formerly known as Justice. So Garland would simply appoint somebody who's a good old Democrat who would bury the whole matter at this point. Uh, I talked to Andy McCarthy about this. Biden and company would use the special counsel as an excuse to stonewall Congress, tell the media we can't make any statements because it's an ongoing investigation. Right. Yep. The ongoing investigation would become a black hole and all of this, including all of that evidence that you just mentioned, it would disappear. Th there would be no discussion of it. And it, it would, everything would be up, compromise the investigation, compromise the investigation. Sources that's why, yep. right, that's why, this is what happened during the, what, five-year Hunter Biden investigation. So that's at right. this point, if there is a special counsel, a new one, that's appointed to oversee this, it will be horrible and it will be specifically to make all of this disappear. You know what else, just real quickly with Hunter Biden, and of course the, the judge is gonna take a look in a couple of weeks of whether or not that plea deal he just made for, for tax fraud and, and the, uh, the gun purchase that he made illegally. So at the very end of all of that plea bargaining, remember what was said, but our investigation is ongoing. And the reason that they can do that and the reason they want to say that is so that they don't have to give anything else up as these proceedings continue to go along. Amy, you know, one thing that was interesting to me is the reference to Joe Biden as the big guy in this, because this was in the context of a Ukrainian discussion. The initial big guy reference was in uh, coordination and, and dialogue with the Chinese executive. So now you have two different foreign country executives, both referring to the big guy and also the mention that it will take 10 years to find the financial records because of the shell game of payments. 10 years is yeah, what's had a The prison. number one question here is where will the accountability come in? But I like what David said. I mean, it's common sense. It, it's not through Hunter. I think one of the, uh, the Post articles quoted the secret FBI file saying, my dog is smarter than Hunter. So Hunter has not been the person that has been, it appears that he's not been the one who's been, you know, triggering all of this. Instead, there's accountability. And also when you're the president of the United States, you've got to answer to some of these allegations. I think the big question is, now that we know so many things, isn't that document that you, you referenced, the FD-1030, anybody can read that, the FD-1023, mm -hmm. anyone can get that. So if you have any they doubts that you want to read it, they can't now, they close it back up? No, I said they, they can, can now. now. Yeah, so now you can no. get access to that, you could see it for yourself, but where will the accountability come down the road? That's if I could just interject real quick, this is where it goes back to Congress and Dagan's point. Enforce the subpoenas, use the sergeant yes. at arms if necessary. If you subpoena someone and they don't show up, Congress is not powerless to act. Yes, find the text, find the recordings, 
find the documents and find the two human sources. And one find thing them. to watch for, Robert Hur is overseeing the Biden document investigation. Garland could expand his jurisdiction and, and, and let him investigate it the way that Jack Smith is investigating January 6th and the Mar-a-Lago document. Very important point. You are exactly right. And be sure to catch Brett Baer's interview with the IRS whistleblower, Joseph Ziegler, on special report tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern here on the Fox News channel. Won't want to miss it. They'll be going in depth on Ziegler's time working on the IRS Hunter Biden probe, along with his claims of repeated political interference that marred the investigation. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-host Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.